What the heck is going on? Jets Twitter going nuts. One minute LaFleur's fired, the next minute he's not. What's going on at One Jets Drive? J-E-T-S! Jets! 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 Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking a little Mike LaFleur drama, almost drama, not really drama, weird story, uh, coming out of the Jets Twitterverse. Uh, Let me walk you through everything that's going on, and then I'll kind of piece together all the pieces here. Uh, As of 11.37, we found out from Aaron Wilson, a Houston Chronicle reporter for the NFL, uh, saying that the Jets are splitting ways or parting ways with offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur. And then five minutes later, our boy from SNY, Connor Hughes, comes in and drops the big bombshell. Mike LaFleur not fired yet and then just a minute later we get our other beat reporter zach uh new york daily news i think um coming in saying he has not been fired per sources uh the report out there is inaccurate the team is still deliberating um so i guess it's weird it's like lafleur was fired then he wasn't fired then he may still be fired because if they're still deliberating, they're still trying to figure out where all this stuff kind of shakes out. The really weird thing that happened, apparently 12 minutes after the Aaron Wilson, uh, you know, tweet went out that LaFleur was getting fired, there was this picture screenshot taken of trending uh, topic, liking the post. Trending topic, for those of you guys that don't know, is the big ticket, Makai Becton's handle on Twitter right now, or name on Twitter, uh, and it's not totally uncommon for, for Makai Becton to have maybe a little lack of self-awareness or, I mean, maybe he just doesn't realize that when you click the like button, stuff like gets shown to everyone that you can see that that person liked it. You don't want to have your left tackle liking your offensive coordinator getting fired, which doesn't make any sense to me. This, to me, this has more of an accidental click than anything else because he's never even played for Mike LaFleur. <laughs> He's legitimately played, I, he's played a half of football in Carolina with Mike LaFleur's offense. So, like, I don't know. Did Big Ticket like it? I don't know if he intentionally liked it as much as it could have been just clicking on it and going through. That seems to be the consistent story that we wind up getting from, like, you know, I think Sauce had something earlier this year with with the Zach Wilson thing. I think it was after the Patriot game. Where it was like, guys, I, I like, I just hit like by mistake. <laughs> I did not mean to do it. Like there's a thousands, thousands of eyeballs on all these Twitter accounts watching everything that happens. And sometimes it's an oops. I do oopses all the time. But uh, when big ticket likes your offensive coordinator getting uh, getting fired, that's not a good thing. Now that is no longer there. Um, I did go back to try and find it. It is gone, but this is as of t- two o'clock today. Um, no news has officially been dropped. The other thing that I've been hearing out of one Jets drive is that LaFleur is going to have to go into a meeting with Douglas, with Woody, and with Salah and kind of explain how the offense stalled out, what went wrong, and I'm sure it's going to include injuries. I'm sure it's going to include, you know, some growth issues. I'm sure you're going to talk about, like, the senior offensive assistant and whatnot. But LaFleur is going to have to present a plan of how he looks to move forward next season and improve this offense and improve Zach Wilson. I'm not talking about hypothetical things and and saying things that are like, oh, you know, we're going to fix the offensive line. Things that are like, you know, totally, uh, it, it may not be true. May, who knows? It, it, like, I'm not talking about the idea of fixing the offensive line. It's like, how are you going to fix the offensive line? And now it's not totally on him. Joe Douglas has to get the groceries, bring the players in and whatnot. But LaFleur should be able to self-identify between him and the offensive coaches where things went awry and why things didn't grow from the end of last year through the entirety of this year. And I think that's something uh, that will have to be looked at prior to the Jets' finally making an official decision here. Now, my biggest concern with LaFleur possibly getting fired is it coming from Woody Johnson and it not being a Robert Sala call. Like Robert Sala has to be the one to make this decision if you want this relationship between GM, head coach, and owner to all work out. If there's a situation where Robert Sala is forced into a corner to fire Mike LaFleur, it would not shock me if Sala decides to walk away from the New York Jets. That may sound extreme. I haven't seen anyone remotely think that's like what could potentially happen, but 
Salah seems like a guy of his morals, and I think if he is passionate and he believes that Mike LaFleur is the guy to get it done, and he does not want to follow the owner's advice in firing the offensive coordinator, if that's what's being you know, asked of him to do, then I can see him walking away. He doesn't really need the headache of the New York Jets. I'm sure he can pick up a head coaching job somewhere else along the way. There's plenty uh, of, I think, opportunities that could come about. I mean, look, we have five or six guys each year, and then there's, I guess there's limited opportunities to become a head coach. But Robert Sala, you know, I just don't want to see a situation where we create a really toxic environment for this coaching staff for an entire season. Because if that's the case, if Woody's going to try and force, uh, you know, a coaching decision on our head coach, then just pull the plug and, and, and get rid of everyone. And I don't want to see that happen. I do want to see LaFleur stay here. I do want to see a senior offensive assistant brought in. I do want to see Sal here. I want to see Douglas here. I think this is the right staff to have in the building. I just think maybe they have to adjust how they uh, how they handle the quarterback and whatnot. Maybe they have to adjust some principles. Sounds like, you know, we'll get some more adults in the room after having, you know, some young guys in LaFleur and Calabrese trying to wrangle in all the quarterbacks guys let me know your thoughts on this topic do you think big ticket accidentally liked the tweet <laughs> do you think lafleur should be fired should he not be fired what ultimately ends up happening let me know in the comment section down below and as always go jets